We are live this Sunday, August 23rd. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, and we're really just going to kick out the jams on the swine flu. Take your calls, go through a ton of news. The call in line is 888-201-2244. I would appreciate it if this hour you kept it to the swine flu topic, and then we can jump off from there. I am going to lead in with this breaking Washington Post article. Now, this Post article actually lays a lot of what's going on down. Of course, it's soft core. It does talk about Gillian Bear. If you don't know what that is, that is the disease that uh, people are getting can turn you into a quadriplegic when you take the swine flu vaccine. Now, that happened in 76. It seems to be happening again. We're also going to go over the International Swine Flu Conference, which was not only a conference, there was a workshop where they really drilled a lot of the things that I have highlighted here. Just a ton of stuff. But let's let's go to the Post article first. And by the way, this stack right here, if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, are just all of the local news articles preparing you for this swine flu epidemic. That's nothing more than a hoax. It's not an epidemic, folks. Again, over 30,000 people, according to the CDC, die from the regular flu a year. Yet this swine flu is not killing nearly as many people. I'm not seeing people with the masks on. It's it's Johnny nonsense. It's jackassery. Swine flu campaign waits on vaccine. Only third of supply is expected for first round of vast effort. Now again, they want to they want to make you want it. They want to let you know, oh, there's not enough for everybody. They want to create this buzz where if you're not the first to get it. You could be at risk. So they want you to be so dumbed down and so eager for this thing, you're literally running to your child's school to roll their arm up and then yours so you can be next in line. Government health officials are mobilizing to launch a massive swine flu vaccination campaign this fall that is unprecedented in scope and in the potential for complications. So far, so good, Washington Post. You are correct. The campaign aims to vaccinate at least half of the country's population within months. Let me repeat that for you. Half of the country's population within months. That's over 150 million people for those that don't follow anything, that just don't know how many people live here. 150 million. Let's say months means three months. That's still 50 million people strong a month. Talk about nightmarish. Uh, the United States has never tried to immunize so many people so quickly, okay? Now, officials say only about a third of the vaccine, as they were expecting by mid-October, is likely to arrive then, when the new wave of infections could be peaking. Now, here's some of the propaganda. Yes, it will be peaking after that first line of vaccinations, because when you stick people with it, they're going to get it. So, yeah, it will start to peak. Right there, because it's not happening right now. Of course it's going to peak. It's going to shoot up, all right? To prepare more than 2,800 local health departments, um, they have begun recruiting pediatricians, obstetricians, nurses, pharmacists, par- paramedics, and even dentists. Let me repeat that for you. Even dentists. That's a long list of people that they're recruiting. That's outside of the school system, folks. We're going to get to the school system soon. Don't worry along with a small army of volunteers from churches and other groups. You see, because schools are a great place to vaccinate people with kids, but how do you get the other people? You go to their church, and they're going to make those places mass vaccination centers as well. Uh, They are devising strategies to reach children, teenagers, pregnant women. Pregnant women are at the top of the list. We're going to get to that later and young and middle-aged adults in inner cities, suburban enclaves, and the countryside. This is so broad. This is such an overview. This is such an important article. This is potentially the largest mass vaccination program in human history. Forget about the United States. In human history. And that's why this little conference, it's international, baby. It's worldwide. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmes. We're going to be back after this. The website is theinfowarrior.com. We're live right now over at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv.